Yo, uh, we're dope and we're gonna tell you a fun little prank story that we did one time. This was uh, the first time I believe that you and I had played together in many years. Because Dope, dope sort of has a fraternity lineup if you know anything about us. It's, you know, different kind of lineup every record. And guys come and go based on their schedule and this guy's always busy with fucking the Misfits and Joan Jett so I can barely get him. But uh, <coughs> we hadn't played together in many, many years and uh, he flew into Chicago and he came out to do four or five shows with me and we rode separate from the band. We jumped into my ride and we rode to Iowa or something like that together and caught up and it was a lot of fun. And we get to the hotel first and foremost. And we check into the hotel and he puts all his stuff away and I, uh, and and uh, and then we, we go to the show for the gig. And both knowing that after the gig, I was gonna go back to the hotel, shower, pick up my stuff, and I was gonna roll home. He was gonna stay with the band, and I'd see those guys the next day in the next town. So I proceed to, uh, we proceed together to go check in the hotel, drop all our stuff, go to the show, we play the gig, gig's over, I say goodbye, I go back to the hotel, I get in my car, I drive home, he plays the show, he gets done signing autographs and doing his job, and he goes back to the hotel to enjoy a nice, peaceful, restful night. And take being a considered a guy that I am, I'm like, I'll let it. So go back and take a shower and do that thing, and I'll come back an hour later. So I get to the hotel room, and I'm and gone. I'm long gone down the road, driving yeah. my car home. And and literally, we had to drop our bags at the hotel and run right back, run right to the venue. So we're there for like five minutes. So I look at the room key, and I go to the room and I open the door. TV's on like CNN or something that neither of us would, would watch. And uh, it's blaring loud. I'm like, what the fuck? So I, I look in and there's someone in the bed. And I, I back out. I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I, I look at the, the key card number. I'm like, okay, now this is the right room. There's somebody in there. I go in and double check. None of your shit's there. still there. None of my stuff is there. Nothing is there. I walk out and I'm really, really confused. So, the only so I thing believe you texted me. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the room number? <laughs> I ignored it, of course. <laughs> yeah, because I text him. I'm like, hey man, what's the room number? So I'm texting him, and uh, he's like, I, I don't know, dude. I'm driving. Leave me alone or whatever. And um, so I'm, I'm confused. Very confused. Yeah, our, there's a guy our, asleep in your bed. Our, our tour manager comes up. He's like, AC, hey, what's going on? And I'm like. This is gonna sound crazy. I'm like, but none of my stuff is in the room, and there's a guy in there watching CNN, and he's like, no, and I'm like, yeah. So he creeps in, looks, he's like, oh my god, there is. So we go down to the front desk, and we're livid. We're like, how dare you give our room away to someone else? And they're like, that's impossible. And we're like, well, it's very possible. Why don't you come up and find out? We hand him the room key. Big mistake. Hand him the room key. He goes in, looks, and says, I don't know how this could have happened. And we're like, well give us the room key back so we can go in and see if my luggage is in there because I didn't see it. And he's like, well, I can't give this back to you now. And we're like, well, why not? And he's like, they're like, well, someone else has the room. And they're like, but you gave it to him. He's like, yeah, but I can't give it to you. And I'm like, I want my stuff, you know, and I want to find out who this guy is. So we kind of start fighting with the hotel manager. Finally, our tour manager is a really big guy. Grabs a key from his hand, pushes him out of the way, puts it in there, storms in the room. We look at the, this body laying in the bed pull back the sheets and it was nothing but a bunch of pillows. Very and, well crafted and, pillows, and all my though. stuff was hidden in the bathroom. Very well crafted pillows though. It would have fooled the best of you. Yeah. Very much looked like a human being sleeping. Um, that was a good one. So we almost killed a hotel manager over his prank. But I will say that prank is nothing compared to my good friend Ronnie Racky's prank that he did to Attila on the last tour. They were out together and uh, he took peanut, peanut packing, peanuts. packing peanuts and filled their entire bus with packing peanuts while they were on stage. So they came back, opened the bus door, packing peanuts poured out. I'm jealous of that one. Ronnie Racky, you win.